Hello, it's Nuts and Bolts. So, I've been seeing a few comments online about Survive the Horde and people that are unable to get active power cells for weapons. And I'm going to show you a way that is quite easy to get active power cells and a whole bunch of different stuff as well. So, starting up, as you can see, no active power cells. But, If you notice, I'm actually an Outlander at the moment. In particular, I'm using this loadout. Now, clipping the lead doesn't have to be in the lead. She can be in support for this to work, but this is my normal farming loadout and an active power cell, left hand side. Another two power cells. I've got four active power cells. I've had up to ten, but you can get active power cells with clip. You can also get nuts and bolts. And I'm back in home base. Now the reason why this works is because when you have a look at clip, clip's perk, objectives destroyed by anti-material charge have a 33% chance to drop additional ingredients. This is where a lot of people seem to get this confused. They think, oh, clip drops 33% more ingredients than what you get. So if you were to, say, pick up five wooden planks, you get 33% of that. No, that's not how she works. She has a 33% chance to drop additional ingredients. In the lead, she has a 100% chance. So what's happening is because you're in horde mode and they've deactivated farming, normally you would get zero mats from farming with anti-material charge but how clip is working is she's giving you a 33% chance in support or a 100% chance in lead to give you more additional ingredients and that seems to be triggering a situation where you're getting active power cells plus nuts and bolts plus planks plus efficient mechanical parts resin batteries pretty much all the stuff that you do need to keep on going but I thought I'd put this out there because you can make some pretty interesting loadouts. I don't think I have any one in lead, but uh, yeah, I don't have anyone that I can really think of. Uh, let's say I'm using Ice Queen. This is normally my back black metal loadout. I could, instead of say phased out, because I don't really need that, I could throw in clip. I could just put her in there and then that means that I can go out at the start of a mission if I'm running say two to four players I can go out there smash a bunch of gnomes get some active power cells and by the end of round one you should have pretty much everything that you need including plasmatic discharges husk buster if you want to break the pylons early on or you don't need that you got the plasmatic discharger you yeah, you got pretty much everything. Armor barons, speed barons, you got all that. So, yeah, that's something that I wanted to sort of throw out there and actually get it known a little bit. I'm going to say thank you to IC on Digidata's Discord. Thanks for him for originally pointing it out. And then there was Archer as well that came across it as well. So thank you to those two. And I'll catch you later.